just a quick comparison video this one so I've, I've done the individual reviews for both of these and I thought because 2024 they both come out these Mark IV Toyota Supras I thought it'd be interesting to compare them previously i had done one on like a Lamborghini Scion by both brands came out in the same year and these two as well and also in green as well so very similar and um, it'd be interesting to hear your thoughts as well but yeah let's have a look at these guys in detail hey if you're into diecast or transformers please do consider subscribing to my channel here are all the latest items that i'm going to review and um, it's about 13 or so and massive thanks to those who've already subscribed. Really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, and I hope you enjoy my videos. I love to read your comments. I love to chat about the same things that you're interested in that I am. And it's just great to network with other Diecast fans or Transformers fans. Cheers, guys. Okay, let's have a look at these two cars then in detail. So here we are, side by side. And, um, you know, the Majorette is a bigger scale one. This is a new casting for this year. And this is an old casting from 2012. However, they both show, this is more of a stock version. And this is like a modified version. So they're not quite the same. However, you know, they are the Mark IV. And they're both green. So it's, is it a coincidence that they both did this this year? I mean, I have reviewed... Previously, Hot Wheels versus Majorette, the Lamborghini uh, Sian, and now here we are again with the Toyota Supra. Similar green, a similar model, and I thought I'd just do a comparison because these two are available this year, and it's something which a lot of JDM collectors would like to have. So, you know, Majorette slightly bigger. And that allows them to have these lens headlights. Otherwise, it would just not be practical to have very small plastic inserts. It allows the design to breathe a bit more. And it's got the um, opening part here, which is the engine hood. And it's been in die cast, like the engine itself. So, you know, Hot Wheels mainline doesn't cost as much. Well, retail price anyway. Not just, never mind, you know, second hand prices on the aftermarket and um, so this one is cheaper but this one so this one's more expensive it's got you know plastic headlight inserts and the opening opening parts of the engine hood it's got you can look at the wheels as well you've got this really nice six spoke here I mean, that's quite cool these five spokes but these wheels definitely look better for me in my opinion, maybe if they were gold, I quite like this gold and dark green um, contrast. But this still, this one's also nice too. Inside we've got more of a cream interior. We've got this cool across these bars here, like, and um, this one's darker with metal flake. This one's also metal flake, but a lighter green compared to this anyway. It's still quite dark, but here you know we've got. These nice indicator lights here. We've got the black plastic coming through here. You know, I think it looks really nice. And then both got metal spoilers on the back. Zero. Zero work done on the Hot Wheels one and then on the Majorette one. You can see a lot of detail there. Toyota, Supra, you know, I've got a lot of paint going on here. Here's like nothing. So, you know, and then we've got this rear indicator light here. So this is a really nice model. Um, and that's the roof. So this one is a bigger scale. If you're, you know, I don't know how scale accurate you are, but it's not too big overall. Yeah, it's only just slightly, slightly longer, not too big. 
Um, okay, well, I think that's a. I think I've done a nice comparison. Let's just have a look on the turntable at these two. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Which one is your favourite of the two? I think the Hot Wheels looks cooler, but because of its lack of detail, I think you know the Majorette definitely comes up top here. Um, even though it's the stock, the stock version still looks really nice. Okay, that's it for this quick comparison video. Hope you enjoyed it and um, hopefully I will see you in the next video. Take care guys.